So the livestock judging camp, I started it 13 years ago in 2007. And we generally have two camps that we offer every summer. This year I think we had about 130 students, but in the past we've, ha we've had as many as nearly 200 students in those two camps combined. So over the course of these 13 years, I think we've brought about uh, probably close to 2,000 students on campus just through the livestock judging camp alone. The judging camps are a great uh, opportunity to get younger students onto campus and just show them our program and try to make a good first impression for them so that hopefully one day we can get them here as Red Raiders. The students that are on the livestock judging team, they give back of time and service by helping with the camps. And so that's a really good thing too, uh, just to try to make them more selfless people and give them an opportunity to give back to our program through, through their efforts. And I think that's important, but it's a great way for us to provide a service or some outreach uh, to help these 4-H and FFA students uh, in their development process of, of trying to become a better livestock judge or a meats judge. That, those are some of the objectives we're, that we're after in terms of trying to help them out in that process. We welcome anybody. We generally put out information on the uh, Animal Science website starting around early March and our camp entry deadline is generally the beginning of May. And so if they're interested, uh, they can check out the, the information there on the website. And if they have any questions, they can give us a call. You know, we'd, we'd love to have them. So I just uh, would invite them to check it out and, and see if this might be something that can help their students. I think the main reason that they're important for our program is because it plants a seed. I, I think most students, whether or not they recognize it or not, they decide where they want to end up going early in their, in their process, I think particularly ag students, because they come to campus for various leadership events, like the CDEs, and you know they visit not only Texas Tech, but they visit uh, College Station, and they visit Tarleton, and Angelo State, and WT. And I, I think that these types of events are you know, maybe subconsciously what drives that student's decisions in the future relative to the impression that that university made on them and the people associated with it. So I think that's, that's one of the real important things relative to our camps is, is trying to generate that interest and plant that seed way before their seniors in high school.